the very first week of the basement tapes, I promised to take you to a family who has to deal with the new smoking ban, which just came into effect this year. Now we're here at the house of Ashley and Tracy Hatfield. We're going to talk to them to see how they're dealing with this new law. Ashley and Tracy have each been smoking for 10 years. They've both tried to quit, but the habit is hard to break. Myself, I've tried everything, the gum, patch, uh, the pill, Champex, um, tried chewing tobacco, any other means of nicotine. And what about you, Ashley? Uh, I tried the gum and quit for about 12 days, but you're around it so much that you never get rid of that craving. So, Their daughter, Bria, is four years old. She's young, but old enough to develop her own opinion on smoking. It's bad for you, and you can get phlegm. Okay, why is it bad for you? What about smoking is bad? Because when you smoke it, it's not very good. Bria's parents are aware of the dangers of secondhand smoke, but they are still having a hard time accepting this recent smoking ban. Are they going to enforce it like everything else? I mean, you walk down the street hand in hand with your kid and have a cigarette, are they going to give you a fine for that? There's more air in a car going through a car when you're going faster than, you know, puffing around your kid outside. They are not the only parents questioning this new law. Sarah Carr has been smoking since she was 13 years old. Since the ban came into effect, she still finds herself smoking in the car with her five-year-old daughter. I still like smoke in my car with my daughter. I know it's not a good thing, but you know, I smoke in my house as well too, right? So it's just like, smoke where cops drive by and they don't really, they're not really looking at you, you know, they're not paying attention. And it's hard to see, really. It's easier to see if someone's not wearing a seatbelt or unless they exactly catch you putting a, a smoke. But she sits behind me in the car, so how would they really know if there was a kid back there? Even at a young age, her daughter Latoya disapproves of her actions. You have a mummy who smokes, right? What do you think about that? Mm, not good. Not good? Why isn't it good? Because sometimes it makes me cough. So why are these parents having such a hard time adjusting? You don't think about it. It's so natural and you just don't think of the consequences, I guess, in the end. A lot of it, too, like my parents smoked around me as a kid and I'm okay. So when smoking in, in the car with a child, do you think convenience <coughs> is a factor? Like I know for me, like, it would just take more time to get out of the car and yeah. do you think that has a lot to do with why people do it? Definitely. Yeah. For parents who smoke and question whether this law will be strongly enforced, Rest assured, it will be. Fredericton police say they will stop anyone they see smoking in a vehicle with a child under 16. Do you think people should be smoking in the car with kids? No. No? How come? Because the, the kids can get sick. Yeah. So are you happy that, that the police made it bad for people to smoke in the car with their kids? Yeah. Yeah? So you're glad mommy's not allowed to smoke in the car with you anymore? Yeah. I'm glad. You're glad? Do you want mommy to quit smoking? Yes. For Stew Journalism, I'm Brittany Duthright.